a thrill. Well, those directions are not helpful at all. They are not giving us any clues yet. So let's go in and see what we're in for. Okay. So we can tell we're gonna need the crocodiles to turn to create a bridge here, but we also need them to be creating bridges here. This is gonna be another one of those moving bridge situations, like we saw a couple of activities back with the turtles. So we're gonna be moving the crocodiles. Let's start there for C in crocodile. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna take this one step at a time. The very first thing I'm gonna need the monkey to do is get on the crocodile, the first crocodile's back. Hang on, I'm not sure how far we wanna go. I think I'm gonna go to the head, just because I know that's gonna put the, the monkey right at the edge. It might work with a smaller number, but I'm going to go with seven for now. I could always try five if it doesn't work. So I need the monkey to walk all the way out, but still be on the crocodile. Then I'm going to need the crocodile to swing. And to know the degrees, or I guess you could use a left or a right, although that might not. Well, yeah, I think we could. So remember, we drag straight out and then rotate. Oh, look, we don't have our, we don't have that turned on here. Well, guess we're, I would, it's a 90 degree turn. Um, or we could say it would be a left turn. And look, when you put this over here, it says equals to 90. And when you put this over here, it says equals to negative 90 or minus 90. Not sure if you've noticed that before, but it's giving you what you need if you want to use the numbers. Um, so then we're going to have the crocodile turn. Um, I'm going to put left and just see what happens. Now, I know I'm not done. I just want to make sure I'm on the right track so far. Um, and. Yeah, just that's not helpful. I was just checking my, does the step seven C turn left look good? So you could use left or you could use 90. Now, I know you saw the monkey move forward, but that's because it was in the loop with the step seven. Ignore that. After the crocodile turns, I'm gonna try to measure here. Um, eight yeah the problem is i'm going to go with 10 only because i like to use nice anchor numbers um and remember the monkey's going to be standing back a little and it, it's just having a hard time i'm trying to measure whoop and i don't know exactly where the monkey's going to be so i'm going to go with 10. if the monkey falls off i'll lower it but paying attention to those decisions helps you know where you might need to fix your code if things don't work. So now after the monkey comes there, the monkey's gonna need to back it on up to get back to the crocodile. So we're gonna do a minus. And these are all things we've done before, just not all in one for loop. And then when the monkey gets all the way back, I'm going to do, the crocodile is going to need to turn back so the monkey can walk forward to the next one. So, C, turn, and this time it's going to be right. We're turning the opposite direction. So we're kind of doing, right, turn left, step 10, and then we're undoing it, step minus 10, turn right. By the way, when, you're in, in previous um, experiences, I've taught you to sometimes figure out how to do something once. A great way to test this 
because this has a lot of steps. A great way to approach something like this is figure out what to do for one, right? Get the monkey, get back to one, get one banana, get back. And when you do it once, so if, you, if I didn't put the for loop up here, I could test it. Now I'd have to go back and adapt everything, but I was willing to kind of test it in the for loop and I've gotten pretty good at really watching my code. So we need to watch the monkey go through the steps one time because once it starts to repeat, you have to ignore everything else that you see if you're trying to figure out what's wrong. So let's watch. The very first one, we want to be extra careful. See, and that all works well. Look at that. 